Alternative derivation of the equation of state of an ideal gas. According to the result of problem 3.8, the number of states accessible to capital N atoms of a monatomic ideal gas enclosed in a volume B and having an energy between E and E plus delta E is given by the proportionality. Omega is proportional to V to N E to 3 over 2 N. Use this relation to calculate the mean pressure of this gas. By the general relation 15, show that you thus obtain the familiar equation of state of an ideal gas. Now, uh, we have two important results in this chapter. Uh, one is that uh, beta is equal to the derivative of natural logarithm of omega with respect to energy which is defined as 1 over kt, remember. And this is at constant external parameters. And on the other hand, we have another derivative, derivative of ln omega with respect to x, uh, external parameter x at constant energy is minus beta x bar, where x bar is the uh, mean value of uh, the derivative of uh, states with respect to the external parameter uh, x. So state energies with respect to the parameter x. So we have dE bar is equal to x bar dx for the system. Now, if this is uh, uh, basically uh, adiabatic process, this would be equal to d bar w, which is minus uh, p bar dv so with uh, x is equal to uh, v the volume we have uh, x bar is equal to minus p bar this is the uh, mean generalized force conjugate to volume so that, that is basically what we have found out. Now, if you look at the number of accessible states uh, proportionality, v to the n, e to the power 3 over 2 n, uh, for a monatomic ideal gas uh, with capital N atoms enclosed in a volume V, we have natural logarithm of omega is natural logarithm of the proportionality constant C, plus capital N natural logarithm V plus 3 over 2 capital N natural logarithm E. Now, if I take the derivative of ln omega with respect to volume at constant energy, I will obtain capital N over V. And this is equal to minus beta x bar, which is beta times P bar. So it is a P bar divided by kt. Therefore, I find that p bar v is equal to capital N kt. So, uh, we obtain the familiar ideal gas law. So, this is the familiar ideal gas law. So, therefore, uh, it seems to have worked for this ideal gas. So uh, we're looking at the uh, number of accessible states for energies between E and E plus delta E for a monatomic ideal gas of capital N atoms enclosed in a volume V. And when we take the natural logarithm and take a derivative with respect to volume, uh, when the volume is our uh, external parameter that is changing and affecting the energy levels of the system, uh, the mean conjugate, mean generalized force conjugate to volume is uh, minus P bar, that is the pressure applied by the gas, uh, not on the gas. So it's going to be uh, del ln omega del V, uh, and that will be equal to uh, using our natural logarithm of omega, capital N over V, so this has to be done at constant uh, energy because remember we're looking at d ln omega and we write d ln omega as del ln omega del e at constant 
external parameters plus del ln omega um, del e de plus del ln omega del x at constant energy multiplied with dx. So we're using this uh, expression. Uh, so we have to keep either the energy constant or the external parameter constant. Uh, and uh, therefore we obtain using del ln omega del v equals minus beta x bar, what we have derived in this chapter. Uh, and the minus x bar is p bar, the pressure of the gas. Therefore we obtain p bar v is equal to capital NKT, the ideal gas law.